Hey guys, so I'm back with CK3, and today, I was looking around at the map, and I realized that this dynasty here exists, which I'm pretty sure united Germany, um, in real life. So, I think the goal for this guy that I'm gonna do, is basically take over the HRE, and then maybe do some other stuff like, I don't know, maybe like Crusade, maybe, you know, it, it's kind of an open book, I just wanna have fun with him. So, immediately looking at the guy... He has pretty good traits, actually. He has two virtuous traits, and he's also gregarious. I'm not sure if they're randomized. He's a marshal, which is okay. Especially since we're gonna have to conquer and make our way to creating this duchy here. So, I'm gonna marry her for this alliance over here. This is absolutely disgusting here. So, this guy diverged his culture. And instead of Austrian being over here, it's here now in this world. So, this is absolutely just disgusting. Here's the first guy I'm going to go after. There we go. This is kind of risky, but I'm going to go for it. Nice. This guy's next. This is kind of strange. So instead of focusing on a holy site, we're focusing on Wallachia. Obviously, I'm going to join this. This should be pretty easy. Um, unless, like, this guy joins. Like, most of the Tangri guys are super far away. So it should be okay. Let's go for it. And, of course, naturally, we can't have any beneficiaries. So we basically gain nothing from this war, but... You know, why not? Luckily, I was actually able to get a beneficiary. It looks like after she dies, though, it'll go to this house here. Which sucks, but... Whatever. That was quick. And... Did she even get anything from it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Okay, this is much worse than I actually thought it was. So somehow, I'm guessing um, uh, Shekia here contributed the most. So this guy's on the throne. But somehow it's a Republic tier kingdom. So now there's a Catholic Republic Wallachia. So that's super, super cursed. I'm going to try to kill my liege here. Because like I can't do anything at this point because like he is way too strong. And his allies are huge also, so hopefully this works. And for some reason, even though I invited three agents to this, it was immediately discovered. So that was a waste of time and money. So that's amazing. I might as well just do this. Nice. And we're dead. So we didn't do much with this guy. Like, all we really did was gain four counties, do Crusade, and then die. So here's this guy. He's decent. Um, His traits are pretty good, actually. Hopefully we can actually create a duchy with this guy. Let's try this again. Let's see. Nice. Let's go for it. Sweet. There we go. It looks like we have the option to actually form Switzerland. I'm going to do this. So let's start by taking this claim here. There we go. Out of the Habsburgs. There we go. It looks like my leash passed level 3 um, crown authority. Which means I can't declare wars without um, a, a hook on him. So I'm going to join this faction here. And hopefully we win this because of... I hate when um, 
I can't declare wars from that. Like, it sucks. It looks like he's in the middle of this uprising here. So, I'm going to strike while the iron's hot. And press his demand here. And hopefully, he actually, like, doesn't fight it. Because I really don't want to fight him. And it looks like we're fighting. Amazing. Here we go. Nice. And I might as well use my hook that I got from that war to make sure that I can actually declare wars. Even if he increases his crown authority. Let's go back to it. Another one. There we go. So looking at the decision, it looks like if I actually control Savoy, it becomes a part of the kingdom when I form it. I think I'm gonna hold off on forming it until then. I don't know when this happened, but it looks like the Seljuks are like dead and still dying. That sucks for them. All right, here we go. There we go. And now all we need is just an extra level of fame and we got it. So yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. This is over. I lost. You know, um, I don't really care about this land. I'm gonna get a lot more when I take the HRE. Um, I'm just not in the mood to fight this, honestly. Like, whatever. Here's another crusade. And I'm thinking of actually redirecting the war to somewhere else. Because, um, crusades are actually miserable to fight. And crusaders lose almost every single time. Um... Let me try to find a better area to go for. I actually think I'm going to switch it over to Morocco here. Since I converted to Almohadism. Which means that they have like no allies to actually help them in the crusade. So let's go for it. Here we go. That was easy. I'm just going to stick to my guy, obviously. I'm not going to go to Morocco and play as a Crusader Morocco. And let's finally form Switzerland here. Sweet. Let's do this also. It looks like Crusader Morocco is no more. My daughter was killed by this random guy for no reason. And then after that, a dissolution faction happened and then just destroyed it. So that sucks for this guy. Apparently, we're also going to do another crusade here for Andalusia. So, obviously, I'm going to join that and help him out. You know what? Forget that. I'm not going to join that. <laughs> Rest in peace to this guy. He was amazing, of course. We played with him for 61 years. Like, that's crazy. Now we're this guy. Um, He's garbage. He's actually trash. He has like three of the worst personality traits in the entire game. Um, hopefully with this guy, we can take over the HRE. Let's go for this. Here we go. Nice. So I just killed the last guy that was on the throne. So I'm going to go for my claims now after that. There we go. And of course, naturally, with taking this empire, we have to face a massive freaking faction. So let's go for it. We are definitely going to lose this war. We, we, we don't have a shot here. Like, 
so I just took like a couple hour long break from the game and I think I have a game plan even though this war isn't winnable well it probably is I'm just like not willing to do it honestly um what I can do is create all the kingdoms that are within the HRE so basically what's gonna happen is as soon as this guy wins this war he's gonna have like no vassals except for like me so this should be okay so let's surrender this and let's see what we get yeah yeah it'll definitely be okay like look at us it looks like when this guy dies i'll just inherit the hre anyways so it was kind of useless for him to even bother trying to take it back this was just kind of a little setback i guess and there we go here's another crusade i have an idea where i want to put it this time here we go oh my god dude this guy sucks i can't wait till this guy dies like it is impossible to deal with your stress when you have these three traits combined like it is ridiculous and we're dead so thank god this guy sucked um do not play with these three traits at all costs um now we're this guy who is okay all right here we are nice here we are obviously we are the hre including um southern italy sardinia this piece of wallachia for some reason <laughs> and, a, and a piece of morocco and western africa we barely played as this guy but it looks like he'll be pretty good um we have a ton of troops a ton of prestige decent piety and decent renown it, it's it's nothing special looking at the rest of the world it looks like france for some reason owns like this piece of the baltics for some reason england is massive still fatimids actually stay together which is usually super rare but other than that Nothing is really too interesting. The Byzantines are doing okay. Um, Georgia's huge also. Looking at religions, it's pretty messed up. Um, for some reason, there's this apostolic religion in Russia. The Muslims basically rule over like half of the world, it looks like. Of course, there's Catholic Morocco. And now there's Catholic West Africa too, which is interesting. But yeah, if you guys have any other ideas for videos, um, just let me know, and thank you for watching.